Hey again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm doing a haul. I thought that we were going to be done with a whole lot of these big weekend hauls that we've pretty much had throughout the, the whole summer. But this last weekend we went to four estate sales and they were amazing. The first one was the best one. We spent two hours there the first day and then we went back on Sunday evening and they had a fill a box um, for a set price. So I brought my Ikea bags and we crammed three Ikea bags for 15 bucks a bag. So I'll share that one in another video. But a lot of this is from that sale or one of the other estate sales that we went to. Crazy good stuff. All right. Um, let's just do it. Let's just get to it. Of course, if you're new to my channel, I love selling stuffed animals. Um, even better yet, vintage stuffed animals. So I'm going to start this video out with some of the things I picked up. It's not all vintage, but... Um, I bought a lot of stuffed animals this weekend and a lot of stuff. A lot. All right. Let me, oops, that's not even stuffed animals. All right. Most of these, I think I paid a dollar each. Um, this was at the first one. This is a Gooned Easter Hugs. It was with CVS. Probably still only going to be in my, my $8 to $12 range, but for a dollar. I just love this. This is Dakin. Let's see if it's got a name. Dakin, 1977. I got to clean up his um, Velcro stuff right there, but otherwise, very cute. I'm hoping probably still $10 to $12. Hook and loop, hook and loop. Hook and loop. Hook and fastener. What hook is and it? fastener? I thought oh, it was no. hook and loop. It could be. They're gonna they're gonna throw a Vero on your YouTube. I know. <laughs> Not really, but this is Ty. I tell you guys, I pick up Ty. This one doesn't even have the ear tag, but this intrigued me. It's one of the original Ty tags. Um, it is dated 1992. Just really cute, very soft. Robert found this. I didn't see it until we were in the car. This is, um, I don't find these very often. I think I showed in one video, I have a big old dragon I found at a thrift store. But this is Anna Lee. It's probably not a whole lot. Probably $10-ish. I just love the detail. Look at, the faces are painted. Just very cute. I always pick them up. They're not always big sellers, but just love them. Puppets. This one is a glove puppet by Plush Creations, originally from Kmart, still attached to its card. I've been doing quite well with some of these for like $10 to $15 for a hand puppet just recently. This is just a little vintage. It says dandy, just cute. Probably will list it my $8 range. This is Piglet from Gund. Just love it. Some of these do very well. I'm thinking like $12 to $15 and then others don't. The classic ones do better than the ones that aren't the classic. The classics are just look like the older poo stuff, but this one isn't that. Probably still six to six to ten dollars. Oh, Robert found this one too. This is, I'm, one of, I'm not sure if this is the Eden tag. Yes, this is Eden, and it's an Oshkosh Bigosh little lamb on wheels. I'm hoping 20-ish for it. Very cute. The wheels are wooden, and they do have some wear, but very cute. This is probably... Oh, it's, I thought it was dandy, but it's Carlton Cards. It's one of the animated plush. Um, hopefully it works. I don't know if we tested it. Yeah, it's not working yet. Hopefully it's just a battery thing. Oh. 
the person at this first estate sale we went to had tons of stuff that were dachshunds. So I did pick these up. They are by Russ. Look how cute. Just adorable. Probably still 12, 12 ish, 15 maybe. couldn't tell if this was poo. It looks poo, but the wrong color. But I don't know who the brand is. It's probably Hallmark. I'm not sure, though. But again, just adorable. Rattle. Always pick them up. This is Russ. Its name is Puffs. Very cute. Hoping $12. But as always, I'll have comps here for most of them. If I don't have comps here... Um, for solds, more than likely, I'm showing you my listing. A lot of times I forget to tell Robert that this is mine um, because I buy so much plush and I buy such unique stuff. A lot of times there are no comps that I can pull up. Um, so a lot of my hauls, you're going to be seeing my listings, you know, and I base my price on the brand, the quality, you know, the theme of whatever it is. Um, and I just go from there, but I always use best offers. So, you know, hopefully it's going to sell even through the best offer program. Then this is the golden seal. I'm trying to see Samuel Goldwyn company Commonwealth. It's very vintagey looking seal. No idea. But I'm hoping again my twelve to fifteen dollars. I did see this in the pictures for this estate sale. This is Babe. And it's got these little mice that are on his neck. It does supposed to make sounds. I'm not sure yet. I haven't tested it, but I do love to pick these up. In the past, and I mean, I haven't found one of these in probably 10 years, um, but I'm hoping 15 to $20. And as always, I love when I'm wrong and the price is way up there and I'll have comps. Ah, uh, I just realized I like to buy these animated smiley face toys. I do really well with them. Usually like in the 25 up into like 40 some dollars for some of them. But I just moved his hat and it looks like he's been sun bleached. So he may end up in my booth just because as long as he <laughs> There we go. Oh. He'll stop. These need a bath, first and foremost. This is Gund, and these are the Snuffle Bears. I've shown a few of these in the past. There are some that go for quite a bit of money, some of the more unique. I think I've sold one that was like $40 to $50 for a larger one that was a unique color. Um, I haven't comped these yet, but more than likely these will get put together in a lot, and I'm hoping, you know, $20 or so once I get them cleaned up. How cute. These say Naito Design. Jean something. Jean Zop. But I found two of these. They're still in their bags. They've got a little, this one has a key ring on the top. Just cute. $19.95. I'm hoping like $20 for the two. But just little bears dressed up as, it almost looks like skater type apparel. No tag. It definitely has the qualities of like a vintage Commonwealth. But very cute. I love to pick up rabbits. So um, more than likely, this will be something I'll list for $20 just because of the cute outfit.
This is Ping. I find this quite... Uh-oh, I got stuff on the keyboard. This is from Russ. I probably have another one similar to this. I'll probably make a lot with this. It's Ping. I think this was like some panda from China. And they made a whole bunch of these when it was, I guess, in the news. Probably, I want to say 80s or 90s, maybe. Again. Is that the, is that the panda that did sign language? No, why? I was just curious. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. There was the elephant, I mean, the gorilla that did sign language. Just checking you. What was his name? See, now you've got me thinking. I might have, I've had plush that was him. All right, well, let's just keep on going. This is, again, I want to say it was Russ, but yes, Snoops. I think another Dachshund. Very cute. And then this is Mary Myers Tippy Toes. Now, I think in one of my, this past weekend's haul from last week, um, I sold a Puffin. I've done very well with these. Probably 10 to $15 for these. They're little finger puppets that go on your, like this. Just cute. I'm not quite sure what this one is. I'm delaying. Speedy. Oh, I bet you he's a... Roadrunner. This is Applause 1989, and his name is Mozart. Big, long, lop eared rabbit. I'm hoping, again, 20 ish or so for him. It looks like the rabbit in our yard. <gasps> yes. Our neighbor has. What are they called again? Something giant. Jersey Giants. Jersey no, Giant Rabbits. And yeah, they got loose. They're lo they get loose all the time and they come in my yard and scare me because they'll be under our trailer or whatever. And when I walk out, they get startled, I get startled. But they're huge rabbits. That's about the size of it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, probably. They're this big. So this might even be one of them because they're monsters. A cute battery. Bit of battery change. Yes, battery change. And the gorilla was Coco. I remembered it while we were waiting. A couple of more plush here. Another Mary Meyer. Some kind of Christmas series. Love it. Here's another toy box creation. Some kind of veggie. Another little animated plush that I'm going to have to check by Kids of America. Another glove puppet. Yeah, I thought I said that wrong. Oh, this is Folk Manus. That is one of my favorite puppets to find. In fact, I've got this one that I didn't realize was Folk Manus. And that's why I made sure I grabbed that one because I saw it was Folk Manus. Yeah. And then I found this one later. It was, I didn't even realize it was a puppet till I saw the tag. But it's um little mice in a box. And then you put your fingers in here. Very cute. And then I always have to save these. These are both vintage Dakin, probably 70s, 80s. Can't quite tell. They've got some condition issues, but I have to save them. I'm going to find somebody who is going to cherish them. And then I did pay $2 for this. This is vintage play school. Now, I've talked a lot recently about the vintage... Um, little Tyke stall house items and then the vintage Fisher Price ones from the 90s were called the Dream Doll House and now there's Loving Family but the Play School ones are very hard to find also so here's one of the little dads and the only way you know their Play School is usually it's in small writing right back here but yeah I'm hoping he's probably 10 to 15 dollars all right and I did pick up a few, um, I thought these, yeah, these are crib blankets. These crib sheets. I've got two of them with the same thing. I usually sell these easily like 10 to $15 each. And then a baby blanket. 
not my baby Morgan, unfortunately, but a, a lot of times these do quite well also, probably 15 to 20, maybe even a little bit more. But if you want to know my best sell um, in baby blankets was a baby Morgan I sold earlier this year for, I think, $250 for a baby blanket. And if if I remember, maybe he'll put a, um, a link to that um, what sold. Whew, that one was crazy. All right. So one more plush. These are one of those pillows or flat ones. It, I wanted to say, no, not sure of the brand. Obviously it needs a bath, but probably will list this 25 or more dollars for this. Just cute. And we went to, this was at a different estate sale, but many moons ago, I was at the Goodwill bins and they brought out a whole bunch of these, I'll show you. They're called Great Courses DVDs sets. And I went ahead and grabbed all of them. And back then they were selling for like $20, $30 for the series. Now, a lot of these are part one, part two, part three. Um, I paid a dollar per tape or DVD um, and I got a whole bag here of them. Not quite sure what the comps are on them. I'm hoping, you know, 15 to 20 on some of the sets. Um, but definitely I, I have a few that are still sealed. And it, it was just a, like, I think it was like college courses um, and they recorded them, and then this was the, the course you could take. But if you ever see the great courses, definitely look them up. But I bought a whole bag of them for a dollar per tape, so I haven't done any comps. I'll go through and maybe put a few up here for you. I found these. We went to one estate sale, and it, I think it said it was a hoarder's house. I talked to the guys that ran the estate sale. They said that it took them a month. Because when they got to this home, um, it was just everything in boxes to the ceiling. And they had to take it all out. I didn't find a whole lot there. Um, I think I'll have some in another video because I think the bag's still over there. But I did pick these up. And then I stepped on it a minute ago and broke one of them. But it was these covered lights. It has all the little bulbs in here. But I've probably got six or eight of these. Kind of like the blow mold type plastic. So I'm hoping, other than the one that I broke, maybe there's an extra, it was the stick that I broke. I'm hoping maybe 30 or $40 for all of that. And I think he charged me $2 for the, the whole bag. Here was just another, oops. Here's one of the sticks that I broke. See, I broke the stick, I stepped on it. I paid $5 for these. I haven't done the comps on them. The box kind of looks older. It's by Krisha Creations. Don't know. I probably should keep it in this box, but it's going to be a booger to ship. But we'll see. Um, if not, then I might take them out. It just depends on, you know, if I can sell it for $30, $40, then I might keep it all together but I just couldn't resist for $5. Look at cute. Now this is not something I'm comfortable buying, but they were a dollar each, so I couldn't resist. And they look vintagey, and they were in very nice condition, but I picked up three purses. This one is a fossil, very clean. So, you know, for a dollar, you know, hopefully I'll have comps right here. I probably should have got more, but I just wasn't too comfortable. I don't even know how to name these. This says Andy, but look at this. It's like a little clutch handle, and it was even stored with tissue on the inside. Very well cared for. And then this, oh. This had a cute little eyeglass case in it. I don't even see a name for this one. 
paper, 52% paper. Oh, M and G Bertini. Vintage, but look, it has these little plastic, I think I've heard sometimes people call these Lucite. I don't know. But very cute. Excellent condition. So I'm hoping. I don't buy purses very often because I just, it's outside of what I'm comfortable with. And then I bought a bunch of blankets. I'll go ahead and, it's all these tapestry ones. They were all still in their bags. And I've watched other YouTubers who talk about these. And they tend to sell for like $20, $25, $30 each. Now, I paid $4 each. Most of them are still sealed in their bags. And they're all Christmassy. So I'm hoping this one's oh, Ducks Unlimited. Again, in its bag. This one is oh, Danbury Mint. And of course, it's Dachshunds. So, and then I, well, two more. I went to a, the last estate, so we went to, they wanted like $8 for each of their blankets. So I thought I did good for $4. This one is Peace on Earth, and there's a lion in its bag. And then, no idea. It says United States of something. Oh, Air Force, the guy at the first place. Had Air Force Academy memorabilia, memora, memorabilia. Books and stuff. Big, big M word. <laughs> but it's probably U.S. Air Force Academy. Okay. So, so I got five of them for $20. And I bought tons of clothes. But I'm not going to share them on this video. Because this other stuff's more exciting and more interesting. Um, go ahead and... This was by Pacific Rim... The haunted house, day late and a dollar short as far as Halloween, but like Christmas, I list seasonal stuff all year. Um, I comp these, I think I paid one or two or three dollars. I don't remember. I spent quite a bit at this place. Um, and I saw comps on here ranging anywhere from like 20 to 50. So I'm gonna have to figure that all out, but very cute. I paid two dollars for these they're just little carrot lights set i think when i looked these up somebody had two sets of these um listed for thirty dollars i didn't see any comps so i'm still hoping maybe you know 12.95 or something for this i don't normally buy candles and make sure if you list candles that you take them down during the winter, I mean the summer, because you don't want to be shipping candles during the summer. But this is, pretty sure this is Russ um, Sad Sam. It's a little birthday candle. I paid a dollar for him. I couldn't resist. I will list him and hopefully he'll sell in the next few months before it gets hot. I bought a ton of coffee cups. They had the, the first day... They had coffee cups, three for a dollar. So I bought quite a bit, probably 15 to 20. And then when we went back to the fill a bag, I bought a bunch more. But I just was going to show you some of the ones I bought. Most of these looked vintagey, but this one was dad. This one I thought was cute. I think somebody's going to like that. Boston Celtics. From mobile, I guess it goes up until 1986, so cute. I don't know value on any of these. I bought quite a few of these. Um, it is Japan, no, Spain. I already have something similar to this brand, but it's, let me just show you. I can't even pronounce it, but I've quite quite a bit of this type of stuff already listed not quite a bit i have some just like them <gasps> let's just break something and then this was pure one imports and i couldn't resist now i did pay up for this this was 15 dollars um but i think this is that italian stuff it's got 
these. I've already got one, something similar to this listed for over $100 that I bought at a church sale. Some, I can't, do you, look how, look at the detail on this. Made, oh, Japan, not Italy. But the, definitely vintage. I'm hoping it's complete. There, I do see Mary, and Joseph. I'm hoping, oh, I just noticed my cow has a broken horn. That's kind of sad. I'm still hoping 90 plus dollars for this. Just very cute. All right, and then the two, two big finds, not really big, big, this first one. It's just, I, you know, I wish. Let me just show you. I saw these sticking out of the box. And I thought, how has nobody bought this already? This is the vintage aluminum Christmas tree branches. It's by Consolidated Novelty, but there's no stand. All it is is the branches. I looked up comps, and it depends on the size of the branch. You know, this could be anywhere from maybe forty or fifty dollars up higher. I will probably list all of them together, but I don't know. Maybe I'll sell them separate for somebody who needs to just replace a broken branch. Um, but they all have their little sleeves in here, and then a part of me wants to think, oh, maybe I should find the stand, and then I'd have my own vintage aluminum Christmas tree, but no. So this was my favorite find, but the find of the weekend was my husband. And then we, we actually had to make somebody put it back down because they tried to take it out of our pile. We got this. This is a Vitamax. Mix. Vitamix. And we paid $10 for it. And Robert, the comps were? Around 150 About $150 for this. And some guy tried to pick it up. He said he was going to test it. He didn't realize that was our stuff, I don't think. But it was in the beginning of the mm -hmm. place where everybody's hold stuff was, so. You Rebel say, gets a little testy sometimes. I can get testy. But, all right, I think that's it. I probably can have enough for do, to do another one, especially of the stuff that we bought the last day of this same sale that I got most of this stuff at. It was just crazy, crazy. All right, I think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and let this go so this video won't be so long, so long. Bye. <laughs>